G'day tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you a battle in the VK-1602 Leopard. Um, you may notice that my username is slightly different. This is because I'm on the Asian server today. Um, I recently started up on the Asian server. I bought myself a uh, Panther 88, um, the Tier 8 German premium tank. And uh, that's quite a good tank that I'm enjoying on the uh, Asian server. And I've started doing the uh, Leopard 1 line and the 50M lines. So we're going to see how that goes. I've uh, recently bought the uh, Leopard after the looks. Um, I quite like the looks, especially for its little machine gun that we got here. And that carries through to the um, Leopard. So the Leopard's actually fairly easy to grind out. And it took me about oh, maybe 10 battles or so to get all the experience. So we're just doing a typical scout thing. We go to the field and we um, uh, pop over. Just to reveal a couple of things, we showed up um, the ARL 44 and KV2 and the AMX 12T. The great thing about this little 3cm gun, it's got five, um, five, what do you call it? Shots, we'll say. That f we'll say it's got five, um, uh, what would you call them? I don't know, five, we'll just say five, we'll say five rounds to contain three shells each. So, and it has an equivalent, I think the clip's around, it's in the 200s or so, in burst damage, so that's not too bad. Now, the reload's a little slow at about 15, 16 seconds, but it's, it is actually very manageable, especially if you uh, time your reloads and attacks properly. This tank actually is a very good ambush tank, and in the, especially in the late game, because especially with its um, decent damage. As you can see, I did a bit of damage to that AMX 75. Did a total of 213, which is not bad at all. And that was with all our, most of our shots hitting, not all of them hit. So obviously, it has a bit bigger burst damage than I originally thought. So yeah, the damage, the um, Penetration on this is not actually too bad. It's about it's in the 90s for the average uh, round, and the 110 for the premium round, which is reasonably cheap. Um, although I wouldn't recommend spamming it like I have done in a couple of games, because you will lose hundreds of thousands of credits. But yes. As you see, we did a bit of damage to him, we did 150 damage all up to him. So not the most accurate of weapons, but it can, um... Can, it, can do, it can deal the damage out. And, uh, this is, this is the first of two games I've, uh, got for you today in this tank. And I think you'll be surprised at how well you can actually do in this, uh, little tier 5 tank, even in a tier 8 game. So we took a hit from the um, the VK over there, so we decided to get the hell out of there because, well, we're a light tank, we're not supposed to be doing much other than being annoying, so... But luckily this thing has some speed behind it and we can get away quickly. It also is very manoeuvrable. It turns, it turns, it, it turns on a dime, so I thought that's what I'm really impressed with. There's a CDC there, so we don't really want to get too close to him, because we are a one-shot for pretty much anything that's um, in front of us, so unfortunately, because we are a, um, a light tank, we're going to get the heck out of there and run away. There's no point in hanging around if you're wearing numbered and outgunned. If you're a light tank, you might as well just run away. Took out that VK for our first kill. Take a hit from the AMX, which we weren't really looking at. Luckily, the gun depression on the AMX 12T is really bad, so the shot arced over us. So he's probably reloading at the moment. In fact, I'm pretty certain he was. So we're gonna run away from him. And unfortunately, not all our shots connect, and we only do 184 damage to him. Not able to secure the kill. Now we're in a bit of a situation here. We're currently reloading, although we only have four seconds left at this point. 
and then we reloaded and we were one shot. They were both pretty much one shots or one burst in my case. And um, we don't know where he is, so the only thing I can do is try and spot him. And there he is, not wet, not prepared for us. I think about going around this corner, but he's probably waiting for that, so I'm, I decide not to in the end. And I, I'm using auto aim in this in this tank, so it's I feel it's more important to actually look at where you're going rather than actually. And there we go. So he's gone. This is the, this is the thing about this little tank. You can do these little drive-bys, especially on wounded tanks, and that's where really where you excel at. Um, especially mid to late game, because we have just picked off two weakened tanks. And removing a um, game is uh, very important. Now the Hummel just missed us there. And we just finished off the Hummel, so we've at least got 300 burst damage, which is um, fairly decent. Now the Chaffee's coming for us, as you can see from the minimap. He, he sees us, and he bounces. Oh, he's using HG actually, so I'd say our tracks ate that up, and we take him out and do a reload. If you're in cliff with these tanks, never wor be wor too worried about a reload. There's no, there's no um, issue with doing that sort of thing. And we see the Lorraine 15550. We decide not to get shotgun, and we let him come around the corner. Some fuse is off for us. So we've done 13,015 damage at the moment, and there are two guys left on the enemy team. We we've been reasonably instr instrumental in. in, in killing off um, some of the wounded tanks and also disrupting them because we, we pretty much distracted the artillery from continuing to target our tanks by trying to come after us and killing that Hummel was quite useful as well. The Chaffee also came and yellowed after us, I mean, I don't know why he, he used HE, um, HE was a silly idea if you think about it because most German scouts have actually reasonably good armour and massive tracks, so um, like, like I'm not saying the um, this tank has brilliant armor, it doesn't, it's crap. But the, the problem is, I would always go for an AP, in fact, I'd go for an APCR shot if it meant the difference between me dying and um, living. So we're coming up to get some uh, rear, rear shots on this AMX. He's on the last 90 health. We'll take that. And that's the end of the game. So as you can see, um, we've ended up with 5 kills, done 14,050 damage, sorry, 14,005 damage, be your pardon, and we've got an expected W8 of 9,885. That's a really good game in this tank, although all scouts do um, act as a bit of a, um, a uh, what would you call, like a stat padding um, ability where they have low damage requirements to do well in, but I, I think I think that's it, the thing is with with that you have to be good in a light tank and know how to play it properly to actually survive long enough to do this sorts of this sort of thing in these tanks. And I'm not saying that I'm the best light tank player in the game. I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm probably good. I I wouldn't say I'm the best. I, I have I have really bad games in this. I'll admit right now. Um, there was a game, w w probably my first game in this. I ru I rushed to a position and got arted in the first two minutes. So um, that's mainly because I don't have a sixth sense on any of my tanks yet on the SCA server. SCA server. Sorry, no, it's the Asian server. Got renamed due to a derogatory uh, term coined by, by us Australians apparently. So look it up if you're interested. Um, Yes, so the Leopard Tier 5 Scout. So let's go to the results and check that out. Okay, well, as you can see, that was a mastery game, and we got some nice ribbons there. We earned 33,880 credits and 3,758 XP. 
uh, which is a nice little game. That was our double, and uh, yes, that was a uh, very enjoyable and successful game there. We we hit 55% of our shots. We for a machine gun, we're going to miss a lot of our shots in this, but still pretty good for a machine gun. Um, we did 140 spotting damage. I don't tend to do a lot of spotting damage to my scouts because I, I play them more aggressively and conservatively. I'm probably more like a medium tank, which is something I'm more used to and prefer. Um, we got five kills. We damaged um, one, two, three other tanks during that game. Um, we even spotted a couple of tanks as well. And it looks like the VK and the Lorraine, we did some spotting damage too, so that's what we we got there. So the next um we came top in XP by quite a fair margin, almost um by four hundred XP. Um and we came ahead of all the tier eights in that game. But as I said, it's if you pick your targets and pick your time, you can do a lot better than other tanks in a um tier eight game. In fact that's a bit embarrassing because look, look at this tier 8 medium tank, we we did almost as much damage as him, um, in fact we did more damage than a lot of the tier 8s in that game. I, I will admit, I, since since moving to the Asian server as a from a competitive standpoint, because um, that's going to be my clan wars um, account, hopefully. I'm keeping the NA account by the way so I can do other stuff with it. Um, I found the player base is really, really uncoordinated. Like, there's a lot of camping. Um, th there is no meta game to the Asian server I've found. But anyway, I digress. So, a shout out to this um, AMX CDC, a tank that I really want to get as well. So, if anyone wants to donate it to me, my Asian account is uh, stem underscore Jaeger. Just, just saying, just saying. Don't have to. Don't worry about it. Um, he got 5 kills, 2,771 damage, very good for him, and he got a battle hero, I'd say, I don't know what that was though, I'd say, um, probably in the, it's, he probably got, um, what's it called, a high caliber or something like that, so, good on him, so he got his full XP that he deserved, so, yes, um, but all the teams did pretty averagely, um, not, not wonderful, not bad, like, I mean, the, Chaffy, I think I'm pretty sure I killed this. No, no, sorry, that's the wrong Chaffy. That's embarrassing. No, that's the Chaffy I killed. He actually did fairly well for us. Scout did 800 damage, one kill. Um, I I ran into his reign of terror though. And in the next screen, so shots 505. We hit 58 of those, um, 50 of which penetrated. Um, this gun is actually decently decent. If you get into the rear of enemy tanks, you can actually do a decent amount of damage. Um, the from just a more hundred meters, four meters. The uh, the gun range is actually not that far. In fact, I don't think it's even two hundred meters. Um, this is not a sniping tank. You've got to really try and get close, which is not ideal for a scout tank. But in this tank, it works. Um, we received three hits, and two penetrated, and one did not penetrate, which would be the HE shot that bounced, which I. I didn't think that would actually happen because he was flying at the side. Same five mil gun. You think? I think would hurt us. But anyway, um, we spotted eight enemy vehicles. Um, we damaged eight enemy vehicles and destroyed five of those vehicles. And um, we travelled four kilometres. It's point seventy one. And ended up with a profit of two thousand. Uh, sorry, two twenty two thousand seven hundred and twenty six. And um, a nice uh, big lot of XP there, especially to our um a free XP pile which is up here. So yes, and just for z just to tell tell you what the exact W eight was, it was thirteen thousand five hundred and seventy three, which is insane. Um, but again, this is what you do when you play scouts. You get insane amounts of W and eight if you're if you're interested in farming that and if you are playing well. So yeah, so um, we'll uh, move on from this game and we'll uh, check out the next one.